Let me ask you uh, another question. In November 2015, you released your updated rulemaking agenda indicating that you expect to issue a final rule on prepaid cards in the spring of 2016. And I would ask if that's still accurate. I think that is still roughly accurate. I would, I would comment that the spring starts, as I understand it, next week and will extend till the third week in June or so. In proposing its rule governing prepaid cards, was it the Bureau's intent to prohibit issuers from offering overdraft protection to card users? If customers want and like overdraft protection for their prepaid card, is it the Bureau's position that they should still be denied the opportunity to choose such a feature? So in the proposal for the rule, that is not what we did. We could have done that. We could have sought to uh, ban overdraft. There were a number of uh, stakeholders who suggested that to us and actually urged us to do so. Uh, we, we opted for more of a middle ground, which was that uh, overdraft could be provided on prepaid products. But if so, it should be subject to the same Regulation Z approach as is used with credit cards, which is a, a, an accepted approach that's been in place for credit cards for many years. Uh, and that's what we proposed. We will be finalizing that rule roughly on the time frame you described. Uh, and we continue to consider how to approach that issue among others. By the way, I would say that one thing that's happened since the last time we, I testified here on prepaid cards was we did have this significant fiasco with the rush card where many thousands of uh, consumers had prepaid money onto these cards and could not get access to the money. If anything, that shows me we need strong consumer protections for prepaid cards for which none exist today. Time of the gentleman has expired.